health, hunger, XP. <laughs> Boring. I'm gonna drop so many bars into Minecraft, you could consider this a rap video. Anyways, desaturate that subscribe button so you don't miss out on, um, uh... Anyways, anyways, moving on. Let's start off strong with what everyone's been asking for. The thirst bar. You know everyone's begging for it. Your neighbor, your dog, my dog begs for it, and I don't even have a dog. The way it works is fairly simple. Every time you lose hunger while sprinting, like that, your thirst bar goes down. You can of course fill it back up by drinking water, or by eating something watery like watermelon. On the flip side though, eating something that isn't watery decreases your thirst, kind of like how in reality you need to drink with every meal. Once your thirst gets too low, you start dying, of course. If you're really desperate, you can also regain thirst by drowning, but it's probably not the best idea. Moving on, we have a bar that's already in the game, but it's hidden. Saturation bar. This acts like a hidden hunger bar. Before your hunger drains, the saturation bar drains. Different foods also give different amounts of saturation. For example, steak gives a ton. Meanwhile, stuff like cookies barely give anything. Now, I'm all about adding realism to the game, so... Temperature bar. In this plains biome, my temperature's at the comfortable green zone. But if I hop into some water, goes down. Meanwhile, desert biome send my temperature bar into the orange zone. Setting foot in a cold biome sends me to the aqua, like, blue zone, and gives me a frost overlay. This temperature also has a side effect. Your saturation has the maximum of one little bar. If you think about it, it's because I'm spending all this energy on keeping myself warm. Desert temperatures also have a side effect. When I lose thirst in a desert, I lose twice as much. If I get too cold by, let's say, jumping into water, I start taking damage. If I'm in a desert and put on some leather boots to make me warmer, I also start taking damage because it's too hot. Next up is the speedometer, which shows how fast I'm going. Very useful information. We Wow, I love the speedometer. Yay. Let's look at the eyesight bar, which shows how well you see. How do you lower this? Well, um, that. And now I'm blind. And there's no way to cure this. Oh. Hey, did someone say realism? Cause a uh, health bar, healthiness bar. Every time you eat something that isn't exactly healthy, it goes down. And every time you eat something that's really not healthy, it goes down twice as fast. You can make it go back up by eating something healthy like a carrot, but if it reaches zero, you start uh, getting nauseous and you get a permanent hunger effect. It's realistic now. It's weird that punching literal cubic meters of blocks has no ill effects on your Minecraft character. So I changed this with the joint pain bar. Every time you break a block or punch a mob, there's a chance that it goes off. As you can see, I now have joint pains in my hand, meaning that now every time I try and break a block, I take damage, and also when I punch mobs. There's only one way to get rid of this, which is punching in the air, and when you do that, there's a small chance that it goes away. Finally! We got a lot of bars so far, so here's the bar bar, a bar to keep track of your bars. It even updates dynamically. For example, when I get the air bar, it goes up by one. And when I put on armor, it also goes up. Here's the arrow bar, which doesn't actually keep track of the amount of arrows in your inventory. Nope, not at all. Instead, it keeps track of how many arrows are, uh, in you. This is really important if you ever need to, uh, Okay, moving on. Here we have a feature that's normally just in mods, a mini-map. It perfectly shows my current location in my Minecraft world. As I move over, it also moves. It, it also moves. It, it's not moving. Oh, it's just too zoomed out. I can zoom in, right? Um, okay, so it's too zoomed out to be useful. Now I know what you're saying. A mini-map is not a bar, but this certainly is. Hey, hey. Please laugh. Sometimes you're too focused on mining to identify anything. This is where the diamond bar comes in handy. Every time I'm looking at a diamond door, it lets me know loud and clear. This won't get annoying, it's only useful. Next up we have the egg bar, and it goes up every time you crack a chicken egg. 
And the only way you make it go down is, uh, by laying an egg yourself. My child. Haha, <laughs> just kidding! I think I'm running out of ideas. Next, we have the direction arrow bar, which shows which direction you're looking in, but it doesn't change because you're always looking forwards. Last, but certainly not least, we have the gun bar. Okay, so maybe we're better off with just three. 